Hello and welcome to the 10th lecture. In this lecture, we're going to talk about emissions representation in osmosis. Osmosis emissions can either be directly linked to the primary energy supply or to the thermal power plants. Therefore, we consider two types of emissions. Fuel dependent emissions, which are greenhouse gas emissions that can be estimated based on the total amount of fuels combusted and the average greenhouse gas contents per fuel. We can use technology dependent emissions. These are emission factors, for example, like nitrogen oxides, which depend highly on the combustion technology used and how this combustion technology is used. The energy sector is the most important sector for greenhouse gas emissions. It represents roughly two thirds of all greenhouse gas emissions made by humans. This has been recognized by many countries. In total, 195 nations have signed the Paris Agreement, which aims to keep global average temperature increase below 2 degrees Celsius. It is clear that there is a strong need for a transition to low carbon economies. However, not just greenhouse gas emissions are important, but also other health affecting emissions like nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxides, or particulate matter. As countries are increasingly aware of the consequences of greenhouse gases, they also try to implement more economic strategies and measures to decrease the amount of greenhouse gas emitted by their industries. This means that for our economic model, greenhouse gases can also have a very important role within our model. We can see here how emission trading schemes are already affecting some parts of the emissions of many countries. If we consider the emissions as fuel dependent, then we can estimate the amount of emissions based on the type of fuel. For example, one ton of bituminous coal gives us 2,563 kilograms of carbon dioxide. We can also calculate the amount of greenhouse gas emissions per energy. For example, one petajoule of bituminous coal would give us 88 kilotons of carbon dioxide. If we consider the emissions as technology dependent, then the emission factor depends highly on the combustion technology and on the operating conditions. This means the emission factor can vary significantly both because of individual installations and over different usage over time. This means that, for example, when we produce one kilowatt hour of electricity, we have an amount of X grams of nitrogen oxides. So, in summary, fuel dependent emissions can be accounted for at the primary energy supply level. This can be, for example, natural gas production or natural gas imports. Technology dependent emissions should be accounted for within the respective technology. These emissions will vary depending on different operation conditions. Examples for power plants where technology dependent emissions could be used are thermal power plants fueled with fossil fuels or with biomass. When representing emissions in osmosis, there are several parameters which we have to use. A key parameter is emission activity ratio, which defines the rate of emissions by each technology. Remember that we consider imports or natural resources also as a technology. Optional parameters are emissions penalty, which defines costs per unit of emission. Annual exogenous emissions. These are emissions which are not captured by the system, but that should be accounted for. The annual emission limit is an upper limit, which we can set to limit our emissions. These limits can be set for an entire year or for a model period. Finally, we would give some tips and mention some aspects for consideration. It is recommended to be very careful when using both fuel dependent and technology dependent emissions. We therefore recommend to use just one type of these emission representations for simple models. The emission representation in osmosis is used for representation of emissions during operation. However, it should not be forgotten that renewable energies also do emit greenhouse gases, maybe not during operation, but maybe due to construction or recycling or transport of components. 
new technologies like carbon capture, carbon capture and storage, carbon capture and utilization, carbon capture storage and utilization are coming up and could be considered for future models. Thank you and good luck.